All right, guys, this video is going to intro circle graphs, which is the next topic that we're going to cover. So please take notes um, on a sheet of paper or in your notebook. All right, so first thing, here's some questions that I want you to pause and kind of think about. What does a circle graph look like? Have you seen one before? What, what kind of information does a circle graph show? Where have you seen circle graphs? Um, and when would you use a circle graph? So just kind of think about those questions. Have you seen them before? Why would you use them? Um, that kind of stuff. All right, so I did a Google search on circle graphs just to see what, um, what I could find and what different circle graphs show. So here's one type of circle graph and it shows it shows the method of transportation to school. So somebody gave a survey, they surveyed different students, I'm guessing, and they asked, what do you use to get to school? 20% um, of the students surveyed said they use a bike. 25% said they walk, school bus 40%, and car 15%. So a circle graph is, can be used to show what percent of people chose a certain activity. Okay, you can, if you look at the next circle graph, the most popular sports at an elementary school, you can see the different sports and what percent of people chose that sport. Okay, down here, somebody has a budget plan and they say 9% of their salary they put in savings. You can see that. Here's how much they spend on transportation, utilities, food, um, all that kind of stuff. And then sneakers sold this month at a store. So 32% of the sneakers that were sold were Nike, 25% were Adidas. So circle graphs can be used to show a percentage of a whole. All right, so you know for this one, the method of transportation to school, bicycle, it shows 20% of the total population that was surveyed chose biking. So circle graphs can show different percentages or different parts. All right, so here is a definition for a circle graph and a picture of what one looks like. So a circle graph displays data as sections of a circle. You can see that definition here. Um, the sum of the angle measures in a circle graph is 360 degrees. That's something I would suggest you write down. All right, so the sum of all the angles in a circle graph are 360 degrees. Now, the percentages in a circle graph, so think about if I had a circle graph, it shows, um, it's split into different percentages. All the percentages need to add up to 100%. So if you look at the percentages for this circle graph, favorite fruit, 40% chose apples, 25 oranges, 35% of people like bananas, that adds up to 100% because it's a full circle. Okay, so the percents have to total 100. Um, each section represents part of the data. Okay, these are the, the part of the people that chose bananas, the part of the people that chose oranges. Okay, and then if I looked at the angles in a circle graph, so we talked about angles a little bit last year. So if I looked at the angles in a circle graph, this angle plus this angle plus this angle, it would equal 360 degrees because there are 360 degrees in a circle. So I'd make sure you put all of those things in your notes. All right, another vocab word that you need to know is a sector. Okay, so the definition of a sector is it is a slice or a piece of a circle. So if I look at the circle graph down here, there are three sectors. There's this blue sector, this green one, and this red one. Same thing up here, three sectors. It's basically like a section of the circle graph. So that's just another quick vocab word you need to know. All right, so let's go ahead and look at a circle graph and see if we can answer some questions. So I surveyed people and I asked them, well, what's your favorite fruit? So if you look at this circle graph, um, which fruit looks to be the most popular? Well, which fruit takes up most of the graph? It looks like oranges. Okay, so oranges are the most popular here. Okay, it says, can you compare the number of students who chose oranges with the number of students who chose apples? Well, let's kind of look at the graph. Look at oranges. That looks to be half of the circle. So I bet you can figure out the percentage. A half is the same as 50%. So 50% of people chose oranges. Now, if you look at this green section for bananas, can you guys figure out the percent for that? Um, so the percent for this banana section, it's a quarter of the circle. Do you know the percentage for a quarter? That is 25%. Okay, and then if you look at the last two sections, I have apples and other. Okay, so together, it looks like that they both make up um, a fourth of the circle. Okay, so they're about equal. They're each a half of a fourth, which is a half of a fourth. Do you know how to do that? A half of a fourth is an eighth. So the orange section is an eighth, and other is an eighth. 
And you can kind of see that if I just kind of split it all up into the same amount of chunks, if we just kind of look at it. There's eight sections now. And then, so this is eighth, eighth. You know, this is two eighths, which is the same as a fourth. The blue section is four eighths, which is the same as a half. Okay, so oranges to apples, um, quite a bit more chose oranges. And then the last type of question says the survey included 80 students. How many students chose bananas? So let's kind of look. Bananas, I know a fourth of the students chose bananas or 25%. So I can find a fourth of 80. Think about splitting 80 into four parts. That is 20. So 20 students chose bananas. All right, let's take a look at this next question. It says a survey asked a group of adults what type of beverage they prefer for breakfast. Um, the survey results said that 78% prefer coffee, 24 tea, 43 milk, and 65 orange juice. I want to know, could you make a circle graph to, um, to display these results? Well, kind of think about this. If I have 78%, 24, 43, and 65, if you add all of those up, they're going to be way more than 100%. So I cannot make a circle graph because the percents need to add up to 100 all right, so when we come to class tomorrow, we're going to learn how to make a circle graph. So I'm going to tell you the first couple of steps. So how do you make a cir circle graph? Well, first thing, you need to have a survey question, and you need to survey people. So you need to come up with a question like, uh, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite candy? Um, and get the results. Okay. The next thing you need to do is make a chart with all your results called a frequency table. And I'm going to show you what that is on the next slide. All right, so frequency, first thing you need to know is what frequency actually means. Frequency is the number of items in a category. So basically, it's like how many times it happens, if you want to write that in your own words. How many times it happens. So like I surveyed people, how many miles they drove each day. Somebody said 21, somebody said 16, 35, 18, 9, 50. So um, that's the frequency in which it occurred. A frequency table shows the number of items in each category. So look at this table. It says the poems written for class. So I asked how many people wrote zero to four poems? There was six people. Frequency means like how many? So how many people wrote five to nine poems? 16. 20 to 24 poems? Two people wrote that. So that's basically what a frequency table looks like. It's just a table that shows the results of your survey. All right, so the next step in making a circle graph um, is to find the percent of each category. So let's say that I made, had a survey and I said, what was your favorite color? Okay, and I made a frequency table. So some people chose red, some people chose green, some chose blue, and some chose orange. Okay, and in my frequency table, I wrote how many people chose each color. Okay, so that's called the frequency, this column. So let's say 12 people chose red, 10 chose green, um, 2 chose blue, and 1 chose orange. All right, so your next step um, to help you make a circle graph is you have to figure out well, what percent of people chose each color. So now when we learned about percents, we know percent means part over whole. So what we need to do is figure out how many people did I actually survey. So I need to kind of add these up. So 12 and 10 and 2 and 1. Well, if I add those up, that is 25 people took this survey. Okay, so if I want to figure out what percent of people chose red, so I'll just start with red. So I know 12 out of 25 people chose red. So to find what percent that is, you can divide. So you can take your calculator and type in 12 divided by 25, because remember that means divide. And that ends up equaling 0.48, which is 48%. So 48% of people chose red. Almost half the people. And that makes sense. 12 out of 25, that's about half. Okay, so for green, 10 out of 25 people chose green. So I'm going to do 10 divided by 25. And that gives me 0.4, which is the same as 40%. Remember, move your decimal over twice. Blue, 2 out of 25. I'm going to divide that. It's not going to be very much. 2 divided by 25 is 0 0.08, which ends up being 8% of people chose blue. And then orange, 1 out of 25 is 0 0.04, which is 4% of people chose orange. Okay, now that we have the percents of each, 
um, category, we're able to make a circle graph. I'll just kind of estimate it right now. So 48% for red, you can see 48%, that's almost half the circle. So maybe that's my red section. Okay, and then for green, it looks like 40%. So again, almost half the circle, so maybe that chunk. Okay, and then for blue, it was only 8%, so not very much, so maybe this little chunk. And for orange, it was 4%, so maybe what's left over. So then, tomorrow I'll show you how to actually make this circle graph correctly. We'll find the angles of each part of the circle, and we'll label it correctly. So that's what we'll work on tomorrow. All right, All right so I would like you guys to answer this question at the bottom of your note sheet, and we will correct it tomorrow, and we'll learn a little bit more about circle graphs.